EV market. Thanks so much for taking time out. Now, very aggressive targets being set by the company. This is for FY25. Revenues of about 2030 crores, a 32% EBITDA margin. What is driving this confidence? So, ma'am, I, I will actually, this is about Gensol Engineering Limited. Uh, in, at Gensol Engineering Limited, we have uh, two different verticals. One vertical is our solar EPC vertical, and the other is our newly found EV manufacturing vertical. In the solar EPC business, uh, what we have seen is that from FY21 to FY22, we have uh, almost made our revenue two, two and a half times. Uh, in the in, in this year it also itself, we have projected that based on the order book that we have, uh, last year we did FY22, we did 160 crores revenue. This shall go in excess of 450 crores revenue uh, for this year based on our quarter one performance and based on the order book that we are currently having. On the on the EV manufacturing side, uh, we have recently acquired a US-based company based from which we have brought the technology to India. And we are setting up our EV manufacturing plant at Chakan in Pune. Uh, the first plant is going to start off in quarter one of calendar year 2023 uh, in January, basically. And that is going to produce about close to 1,200 cars a month. We are going to also set up a second plant to manufacture EVs, uh, which is all, which is going to come at Sanand in Pune, uh, which will be essentially manufacturing about 5,000 EVs a month, 5,000 four-wheel EVs a month. With this and the price point at which we are going to sell these cars, we basically believe that we should be able to each achieve the targets that we have shared in our analyst presentation. Good morning, Anmol Jaggi. This is Nantar also joining in on the conversation. Yesterday, we're not talking about Blue Smart as we've hosted you before, but about Gensol and talking more about the EV plants, Chakan plant, Sanand will be the second one. We also understand, uh, you know, you hosted analysts at Chakan where you've taken them through these uh, plans as far as electric vehicles go post the acquisition in the US. We understand that your electric vehicles are going to be very, very competitively priced. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, ma'am. So India sells about 30 lakh uh, cars a uh, year today. We expect that in about five years time, this will hit the 40 lakh cars per month, cars per year mark. 60-70% of the cars which are being sold in the country are hatchbacks which are priced less than rupees 10 lakhs. What we found out was that in our research and, and uh, when we were doing the complete competitive landscape, we found out that uh, none of the existing players have any cars on the drawing board which are costing rupees less than rupees 10 lakhs. So there was this huge wide blue ocean opportunity in manufacturing EV cars which are priced sub 10 lakh rupees. So in this segment, we are going to have two models. One is going to be a two-seater car, uh, which is going to be priced at about close to five and a half lakhs. And other is going to be a four-seater hatchback car, which is going to be priced about eight and a half, nine lakhs. The two-seater car starts production from January of 23, and the four-seater car starts production from August of 2023. Uh, so these, these cars are full of aspirational features, like sunroof have great artificial intelligence built into them uh, we can we are also testing a lot of uh, autonomous features on these cars uh, and basically great furnishing great interiors that these cars are going to have and and that's why this is going to appeal to a lot of young indians who have a who have big aspirations on owning ev cars and also uh, and also having a and also having the at a price point which is sub 10 lakh rupees Right. Anmol, uh, I must tell our viewers that marquee investors like Ashneer Grover, Nikhil Vora, Pathik Gandhotra, Gandhotra uh, Raghav Behel, etc., among many other HNIs, I understand, have applied for your preferential allotment. But that aside, I also wanted to understand, you know, considering so many marquee investors are showing interest in your company, company and your vision for EVs, uh, have you had any off-the-record conversations with them? What is their piece of advice to you uh, of course ma'am uh, uh, all these names that you've mentioned uh, they are uh, re are respected investors in the current preferential round that we did and of course uh, to convince any investors we have to make a pitch to them and and then only uh, they will say yes uh, and and in that pitch uh, we have we get a lot of feedback i think the whole feedback is that uh, cars is a very aspirational product uh, 
and and we should be making cars which are very aspirational in nature people should love driving it how how i would say is the old maruti tagline it should be uh, neighbor your your pride and neighbors envy uh, that is that is the car type of car that we would like to manufacture and that's the advice being given to us that please don't you know 50000 1 lakh rupee here or there does not really make a difference what makes a difference is that the car should be action packed feature packed and that's that's the kind of car that we want to get to the in indian market on top of all of it it has to be ev ev is the future and 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 uh, curtsy and because of the other business that we run which is blue smart electric mobility we understand evs like nobody else uh, we have run the we run the largest fleet of electric cars there and that based on that experience we know what works and what doesn't work in the ev segment and hence our cars will uh, will will be more uh, will be more better than than what is available in the market given your three wheeler ev production and mol are you already sitting on sizable orders uh so we haven't opened up orders uh, for the uh, for the th for the product which is going to start manufacturing in january uh, we will open up the product orders about 3 months before uh, we start production but i can the the full market feedback that we have is that uh, just like uh, it's it's going to be a blockbuster product and we are going to see a complete sold out sold out of that anyways the production capacity is just about 1200 cars a month to start off with which is not a very large quantity considering uh, india is a, india is such a large nation uh, but uh, also happy to inform that uh, a lot of international uh, international customers have started approaching us post the analyst day post the post some releases of the cars that we have done a uh, lot of international customers also approaching especially from europe and uh, we would also like to mention here that the safety standard that we have followed for the car complies not just with indian safety requirement but also with european safety requirements which basically means that uh, we can also sell these cars in southeast asia and africa and in and 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 in europe also uh, so uh, the market for these cars is not just india although we would like to sell as many cars as we can in india itself and maybe the 100% production but there is a huge opportunity to be sold in the in the in in european markets also Uh, apart from that uh, we have uh, we had also displayed in the analyst meet a uh, cargo product uh, the cargo product also looks very interesting uh, it is it is it can it can carry up to 800 kgs of payload and give about 140 kilometers of of run uh, with the 800 kg payload uh, we believe that this product is also going to be a super hit good luck and certainly look forward to seeing more cars from your company on the road sandeep sabarwal joins us sandeep